Last summer, my parents split up, and it was awful. I went to live with my dad in his new apartment. Wait a damn minute. How do you get ketchup on the wall? He's just like squirting ketchup everywhere. You do you, boo. Dirty and messy, and there was never any food in the fridge. One day, we had an argument, and he told me that if I didn't like his <laughs> apartment, then I could get out. So I moved in with my mom instead but she was living with her new boyfriend in his house. Whoa, mom moved on fast. It was okay at first, but soon he started bossing. Did he just throw a sofa? Homeboy just threw a sofa. Are you well? Like he was my dad. What does this mean? Go up there. My mom wouldn't back me up. She told me that I should just do what he says. One day at school, I was in the bathroom. What is she Wait, did she? <laughs> Is she in there with a leprechaun? Did she find a rainbow and a pot of gold and a leprechaun in the bathroom stall? I mean, okay, I'm here for it. One day at school, I was in the bathroom. It was the end of the day and I really didn't want to go back to mom's place. I had been really upset and was putting makeup on to cover it up. Wait, wait, wait. So you're putting makeup on to cover the fact that you're upset? I'm pretty sure makeup doesn't change your expression unless you're like <laughs> doing exactly what she's doing, drawing a joker smile. That was when I saw a reflection in the mirror behind me and noticed a door I hadn't seen before. I turned around and opened the door. It was an empty cleaning cupboard. It was about the size of a couple of toilet cubicles. <sighs> How have you never seen that before? It's as big as two stalls and you haven't seen it? Oh, oh, it's, it's like invisible. I noticed a key hanging inside. The okay. key locked the door. I was curious, so I stepped closer to check it out. But then someone came in and I had to hide fast. You're allowed to be in the bathroom, just saying. I got inside and hid. You don't need to go inside. You could just be in the bathroom. A couple of girls came in and no one noticed. Whoa. What is this school they go to? Girls came in and no one noticed that I was inside. Then I got an idea. What if I didn't go home that night? I could stay in the cupboard. I'm a genius. Get it? She spelled it wrong because she not a genius. I texted my mom and said I was spending the night at my dad's. And that was night cool. was the first night I spent in the cupboard. Honestly, no one has made a cupboard look like so much fun ever. Except for me when I was hiding in Ikea. But this is pretty cool. She's going to hide in her school overnight. I was a bit scared at first, but it was so nice to have somewhere alone without anyone else. I Aww. didn't tell anyone, not even my best friend Kimberly. And we usually tell each other everything. The next day at school, I got up early and used the showers at the gym. No one suspected a thing. Really? No one suspected a thing? You're just walking around in the school in a robe and, and, and everyone's like, oh, that, that girl, you know, it's just that's normal. I went back to my mom's place that night and her stupid boyfriend started shouting at me straight away. So I told him that he wasn't my real dad and he needed to back off. I never understood why people said that. Like, I don't think he's confused. I'm pretty sure he knows he's not your real dad. You're not my real dad. It's like there was no confusion. He's just bossing you around. He got really angry at that. So I packed a bag and I stormed out. I decided I was going to live in the school. I called my mom up and said I was staying with my dad. And dad thought I was still at mom's. Dad looks unconscious that night after school i stole a mattress from the gym okay we all know those aren't comfortable those mattresses from the gym they're disgusting nobody ever cleans them and they smell let's not pretend those are a good idea to sleep on and some fairy lights from drama class Ooh, fairy lights i, I like decorated that. the cupboard and it looked so we love an aesthetic queen we love i hadn't thought about how i'm gonna eat but i discovered that the school's cafeteria wasn't locked at night so I snuck in and I ate whatever I wanted for free. Who eats like this? Also, I found a key to the vending machines and took loads of chocolate and Wait, sodas. How'd you find the key to the vending machine? Sick. The next night, I decided to explore more of the school. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. It was too good. I snuck into the staff lounge and looked around. Oh. Not a dog. It was pretty boring, really, though they had some nice cookies in there. Then I snuck into the principal's office and found the master key that unlocked all of the staff lockers. I found something shocking. It was a half-open bottle of whiskey in Mr. Taylor, my science teacher's locker, next to some photos of his ex-wife. There is no way he should have that at school. Wait, the whiskey or the photos? That Mr. Taylor, you know, just trying to have a life and a wife outside of school. Oh, she's probably talking about the whiskey. That's not okay. I had a feeling that soon I will start uncovering all of the school's secrets. I only had to make sure no one will find out about mine. One morning, I was hiding in the bathroom sleeping. Wait, she has curlers? 
she's taking this whole like sleeping in a cupboard thing to the next level. Like she's getting real comfortable. Curlers. Woke up really late to the sound of voices in the bathroom. It was two girls from my class, Sophie and Grace. They were talking about a party they had been to the night before. Sophie said that their friend Jen had been showing off the whole night and flirting with all the boys. Jen has really long blonde hair and is one of the most gorgeous girls in this school. She also doesn't have any pupils from the looks of it. But she is so nice. I really doubted she had done anything. Why is the fact that she's beautiful go along with but she is so nice? As if the two are mutually exclusive. I think they were just jealous. Sophie and Grace talked more. Sophie was saying she had done something horrible to get revenge on Jen. But then they started whispering and I miss what they said. It's almost as if they know you're there. Once they left, I got dressed and snuck out of my secret cupboard. <laughs> she said she got out. She just flipped out. Later on, I skipped a couple of classes and decided to go back into the- Wait, you're telling me you literally live inside a school and you are not going to your classes? Out of all people, if you are living inside your school, you should be the only person going to classes. You have no excuse. You're there already. And see if I could hear more conversations. I didn't hear any gossip, but I heard someone crying. I opened Aww. the door a little bit and saw Jen crying. She was brushing her hair oh and no. clumps of it were falling out in the sink. Oh no, they did her dirty. Poor girl. Those are, that's so mean. They're making her hair fall out. I realized what Sophie and Grace had done. They had found a way of making her hair fall out. When they left, I heard more people coming into the bathroom and I heard more voices. I realized it was boys talking. I froze. Why were there boys in the girls' toilets? Then I realized that the noise wasn't coming from the girls' toilets, it was coming from the other wall. Oh, but wait, there's a flaw in this story because you literally live in this cupboard and it took you this long to figure out that you could hear the guys in the boys' room? I could hear Matt talking to his friends. Matt is just the most gorgeous guy I have ever seen. And I had been wanting to <laughs> ask him out for ages, but I'd been too shy. I could hear him talking about a girl he liked and how he hoped that she would ask him out. Aww. His friend said to him why didn't he ask the girl out first, but he said he wasn't sure if she wanted to go with him or not. Hold on. <laughs> Is this somebody's buffing kit? What does this have to do with uncertainty? What does this have to do with anything? Which one's him? So was hoping she would ask him. My heart literally skipped some beats. He must have been talking about me. It's quite presumptuous of you. He must have been talking about me. When they left, it all went quiet, and I realized I was running really late for class. <laughs> it was science, and Mr. Taylor was not happy with me. He gave me detention for being late. I didn't care, though. It wasn't like I had anywhere else to be. But That's he true. could tell that I wasn't bothered, so he started picking on me and mocking me in front of the whole class. I went and I cried in the cupboard. Then I heard Kimberly come in with another girl. They were talking about Matt. Kimberly was saying how she was going to ask him out. Her best friend. I wanted to go out with him, not her. I had to do something to get the upper hand. That's your best friend. What do you mean? Also, I love this. This work. <laughs> That's my impression. And I needed to come up with a plan. Dude, you can't. You can't. That's your best friend. The shade of it all. I had detention and Mr. Taylor was being so mean to me again. I had no idea why he kept picking on me, but I knew I needed to get my revenge on him. But I had bigger problems to worry about. I had a maths exam the next- Sorry, did I hear that right? Can we rewind that? I had a maths exam. Yep, she said maths exam. Girl, I think you need to work on your English. Just <laughs> maths exam, it's just math. And I had done no revision at all. And I knew if I failed, the teacher, Mrs. Sims, would call my parents. So I spent that evening looking for the answers. I looked in her locker. Wait, 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 wait. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Mrs. Sims over here. She got a whole block of cheese in her locker. I love Mrs. Sims. Broke into her desk and found them. I took photos on my phone so I could look at them. Then I put them back where We're I found now. them and shut the desk. We trespass in, we cheating, we steal in. Anything goes in these true stories. True. But then I heard something, footsteps. It was past 11. What was someone doing in the school? Oh no. You're gonna get caught, girl. You in danger, girl. So I turned the light off and I hid under the desk. No, turning the light off is like the worst thing you can do because now they know you're there. Then someone came into the room. It was the janitor. He asked who was there, looked around a bit, 
then left. Because that makes no sense. You're telling me this janitor sees the light go off and goes into the room, doesn't look under the desk, and says, Ah, no one answered when I said who's there. So there must be nobody there, because of course they would answer. And leaves? Mm -mm -mm. Waited a couple of minutes, then I left the room. I crept down the hall. <laughs> I love her creeping. Walk. I want to walk like this girl. Then I heard footsteps. He was behind me. Of course he, had he been was. waiting to try and catch me. I couldn't believe I had almost got caught. I know all of this sounds pretty unbelievable, but my life really had turned this crazy. But this wasn't even the end of the weird stuff that happened to me. The next day I went to my maths exam. There she goes again with maths. I'd stayed up most of the night memorizing the answers. It was multiple choice, and I chose mostly right answers and threw in a few mistakes in there. Wait, you stayed up all night trying to memorize the answers and you have the cheat sheet? Okay. Didn't get 100%. Then I got back to thinking about Big Matt, brain. and I had a great idea. That night, I broke into his locker and looked inside. I wanted to find out more about him, and I did. I found out he was so really crazy. into tennis. So I went online and bought some tickets for a tennis match, planning to ask him to go with me. How could he say no? I then got another idea. I broke into Jen's locker and looked at her stuff. She had loads of hair care products in there. I took the lid off of one of them. It smelled like chemicals. Mm -hmm. Had her so-called friends been putting something in her shampoo? Probably. I stole the bottle and threw it in the bin. But I still had to get revenge on Mr. Taylor. Did so I wrote an anonymous note. Wait, who writes like this? <laughs> Just like upside down writing. How are you in that position, girl? Mr. Taylor was drinking before lessons and had whiskey in his locker. Man, you're so mean. This dude has a problem. He needs help. Like, get him help. You don't need to be a tattletale. I understand helping someone, but like, this is just mean. That would teach him not to be so mean. Well, he's so mean, you know. Give me detention for being late. The thing that all teachers do. He's just doing his job. Living in this school was so good. Then it all started to go really wrong. So I asked Matt out and he agreed to go to the tennis game with me. And I was so happy. But then I told Kimberly and she seemed okay. But later on, I was in the cupboard, and I heard her crying in a cubicle. Aww, Kim. She was so upset, and then it got worse. Oh, no. I heard Matt go into the boys' toilets, and he was talking about how he was going to the tennis game with me, even though he didn't fancy me. What did you expect was gonna happen? I wanted to go to the tennis match. How could I have been so stupid? <sighs> That's like saying, hey, I gave this guy a million dollars to go on a date with me, but I can't believe he wanted a date with me for a million dollars. Can't believe he didn't actually like me. He just wanted a date because I gave him a million dollars. Like, yeah, what do you think was gonna happen? You can't bribe people into dating you. But I couldn't think about that as I had science class. Mr. Taylor wasn't there. Wait, teacher what? What's, what does that name say? Who is this person? <laughs> Mr. Taylor was drunk, but I don't know what this guy's on. I should have been happy, but I couldn't stop thinking about how I had upset Kimberly. I was a dreadful friend. Then halfway through class, Mr. Taylor <laughs> You see how he just jumps in? Mr. Taylor is a boss. He just like kicks the door down. He threatened me and said it was my fault his career was ruined. He had recognized my handwriting on the note. Some other teachers came in and dragged him out. I'm not going to lie, it was all a little scary. Then I got called into the principal's office. I felt relieved. Perhaps he was going to say well done for helping him get rid of a bad teacher. But when I sat down, he did not seem happy. He told me that the janitor had reported seeing me at school late one night. Oof. The principal had decided not to ask me about it, but to keep an eye on me instead. It turns out that there were CCTV cameras at the school. There's cameras everywhere. Oh my gosh, she's so dumb. Why did she think there was no cameras? I was about to say the school has like the worst security ever, but apparently not. They've got cameras everywhere. He had seen me breaking into Matt's and Sophie's lockers and going into the principal's lounge. Oh, there she goes again. <laughs> he asked me how I had got onto school premises at night, but I just kept quiet. Like I was going to tell him that. Then he put something onto the desk. The maths exam? It was my answer sheet from the maths test a few days ago. <laughs> He said that Mrs. Sims had reported me for cheating. Wait, why is he Golem? You're Golem. Why is he the bad guy? You're the, literally the thief and the trespasser and the liar. Okay. I was so shocked I had got caught. I had been so careful. He told me that I had got such a bad mark that Mrs. Sims had thought something wasn't right. 
She had checked my answers and it turned out I had selected the answers to a different test. So she just studied literally like A, B, C. You know what I mean? Like she didn't study the actual questions. We have brain cells for a reason. She should probably use them. As it was a multiple choice exam, I had just assumed it was the correct one. And I was so wrong. Then oh no. he told me the worst thing. He had called the police as my breaking and entering counted as a criminal act. And he had called my mom and dad and they were on their way. So I did the only thing I could think of. I ran. I went to my secret cupboard and locked myself in. Okay. I could hear loads of people searching for me. What are you gonna do, hide there forever? I'm so confused. Luckily, I had food and drink, so I hid in the cupboard for a few hours. When it was nighttime, I snuck out. The school was empty, but what was I going to do? There was no way that I was going to end up living with my parents again. So I decided to run away. I packed a bag Aww. with my few belongings. I see a little tear, I feel bad. I wanna give her a hug, but also, go. Then I hitchhiked to a town that was hundreds of miles away, a place where no one would know me. I spent the night on the street, sleeping in a shop doorway like a homeless person. It was cold, dark, and scary. Then I realized I was a homeless person Aww. and I was to blame. I couldn't live like this. So the next day I went to a police station and handed myself in. Luckily, I was let off with a warning. They were more concerned about reuniting me with my mom that Aww. was last summer, and now I'm back living with my mom. She Yay. split up with her boyfriend, and now she's living in a really small apartment. I'm happy for her. She's back with her mom. This seems so much better than just hiding in school and stealing things. My room is tiny. It's no bigger than the cupboard I was sleeping in at school. I miss that cupboard sometimes. At least sneaking out and exploring the school at night gave me some freedom. Now living with my mom, I feel really trapped. Wait, what? I thought you were happy. Now you feel trapped? I'm so confused. Guys, I thought that was a happy ending and then she just said that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice, other. Bye-bye.